Hi, this is Nellie Deutsch, and I'm on my Google Drive. There is the account, and here is the drive. I want to start a new document, and I want to bring it up from my computer. In this case, it's a PDF file. So I'll click on New, and notice the options. I can start a folder, File Upload, folder upload or I can start any one of these. What I want to do is of course file upload. I want to upload a PDF file. So that's I'm going to start. And the reason I'm doing this is I'm going to show you how to share hypothesis. So uh, these are the PDF files and I want these two. Okay, so I can even bring up two at the same time. And notice it's coming up. You can see it happening over there, over here. Rather, on the right, not on the left. Notice I've got, and they've done, it's in green, which means that they're both up. All right, so next stage is to click. Notice uh, I can click on one and the other stays can't really do it at the same time so let's do one there it's coming up and notice how it's coming up like this okay connect to google okay this is lumen i can use this okay there i can approve and so on okay using this okay that's one way of doing it okay allow allow Okay, I'm allowing this to happen. Okay, and allow one more time. And now it's connecting this Lumen PDF to my, and notice it says free trial. Now, whenever I see, see start free trial, I know that this is not for me. So don't go there. Okay, that's uh, my opinion. Do not go there. So let's go back. So notice the two, if I go to recent, which is where I am, I will find the two files. So recent, and here are the two files. I do not want to pay for anything. So ignore that message. Let's uh, click on the stop that. So notice what we do now. We've got these two files in our drive. We can click on the right of the mouse and we've get, we get these options open with and we've got the lumen and so on uh, which I don't want to use, I don't want to pay or we can simply go to Google Docs. Under Google Docs, okay, it's coming up, we will be able to view the file. Okay, and then we can decide whether we want to share it, make it private, and so on, that's, um, or keep it private, that's up to us. So I generally like to have everything shared and opened for others. So that's what I'm going to do. Notice I'm going to the share button and it's loading. Okay, so here it is. Notice I can change the link to anyone with a link and then copy it and share it. I can also add it, add other people over here so they can edit. Okay, but that's not my goal. My goal is simply change it so anyone can actually use it. So let's down. Okay, so now it's shareable. Notice uh, you'll see the icon here that shows that it's available to anyone who has the link, which means that they can actually go into the file over here and copy it or download it for themselves. They can make a copy. They can download it back as a PDF or as Microsoft Word, which is nice because actually you're kind of converting back and forth. All right, so that wasn't my purpose. My purpose was to add it to the Moodle or Hypothesis so that it can be annotated by others. All right, so this is how you add let me go back to my Google Drive. This is how you add PDF files to your Google Drive. You can then decide that you want to put things in folders so that it's organized. But right now, I want to show you what I have. I've got Peer Learning as a Word doc, 
and I also have uh, peer learning as a PDF file. All right, but I'm going to use the PDF file because that's what I need for collaborative annotations on a PDF file. But more about that in the next video. So stay tuned on how to annotate your PDF files individually or collaboratively.